brother, are you okay? Police officer. Ah, this one. Seat belt. You have a seat belt back there. I'm not wearing a seat belt. You put it on. Yeah. Why? Just saying it's a bit safer. It's so hot. And, so hot. and look at the traffic. We are hardly moving. Why do we need a seat belt? Do you know why do you need a seat belt? It's safer. You know that's It's meant for other cities. There's no. It, no, I'm not wearing a seat belt. It's just ridiculous. But then you, see, you heard just too much, okay? Uh, You're not taking that call. You yes, aren't you taking it. that call. It's, it's ridiculous. Mom. You know what? It's dangerous. Is there safety issues? Look at it. Seat belt, man. But on mobile, pe, phone, pe baat karo. joints, joints, EPO. Hey, your son. He's talking on the phone, he's driving and talking. Oh, yeah, okay. Oh, no, call me, 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 I learned from your actors just a couple of weeks ago that there were some scenes that they actually practically improvised. I mean, you let them. Right. Uh, there's a great sequence when all three of them are traveling in the car and they're stuck in the traffic in Bombay. Yeah, yeah. I guess visiting Madan's family, which is yeah. supposed to be like, yeah. like you know 200 kilometers away. Yeah. Um, what direction did you give them, or right. did you say just talk based on what yeah. you see? No, we had like general discussions previously, you know, like I really wanted them to improvise because I was, we had like, even before we went on the floor to shoot it, we had like two weeks of uh, rehearsals. So during those rehearsals, you know, what, what really came of it was like, all of them really understood their characters, you know, they really understood. So once we came to the point of like doing these improvisations, I was really comfortable because since they really knew their characters, you know, they would be within those character, within their character while they were doing the improvisation, which was the most important thing. And, uh, and it w just worked out, you know. So while doing the car scene, you know, while they were driving, you know, I, I, so we had some ideas about what they would talk about, mm -hmm. and I just let them do it. I wasn't even in the car. Mm -hmm. You know, then we would stop, and then we would just check, you know, what they had said oh, so and whether it worked. I was traveling with them because there was no room in the car, you know. <laughs> so, yeah, I was traveling in the car behind, you know, and then we would stop, like, 10, 15 minutes later, and then we would look at the tape and see, like, you know, what we can change or... So that's how we worked. I mean, we did a lot of other improvisation in the film as well. Well, that's remarkable. I have to ask you this question. Um, uh, there was this sort of a relatively big medium level controversy in India. Right. Uh, uh, Karan Johar produced a film called Wake Up Sid, I think, right. in which he used the name of the old name of the city, Bombay. Right. Now, we've been saying Bombay throughout, and your film is called Bombay Summer, yeah. but he actually had to go up apologize to Raj Thakare right, because there right. was some issues yeah. about whether the film would open up or not. Yeah. Now, I, I wish you all the luck and I wish your film would have that kind of mass scale right. of, of yeah. opening as uh, Wake Up Sid, but yeah. it's a very different level kind of a film. But yet, your title, Bombay, is in the title of your film. Right. What kind of reactions do you think it, can, it will probably have? Yeah. Have people talked to you about it? And yeah. how do you feel about your title now, given the fact that people start to scream and yell about these little things in India? I know it's kind of sad that you know anybody can make a big noise in India, which uh, which is great also. For, I mean, it's a it's a democracy and all that. But but when somebody can hold like you know somebody at ransom almost, you know, like in Karan Johar's case, it's just I I don't know how what to make of it, you know, because my film Bombay Summer, I mean, for me personally, I would say like you know Bombay's got much bigger problems than you know whether it's called Mumbai or Bombay. You know what I mean? Like the city. Uh, it's got a lot of other issues, bigger issues that it's got to deal with. That said, I think my film is actually a tribute to the city. You know, it's like an ode. You know, it's an ode to the, uh, uh, the city and also like what the city was. You know, we talked about the chawls and the textile mills mm -hmm. and, you know, the world of the hand-painted Bollywood posters. So the reason I really put the title Bombay was because it kind of like shows what Bombay was and probably is not going to be, you know. And also, like, for me, like, growing up in Kerala, you know, I grew up with the word, you know, with the city being known as Bombay, you know. So it's very hard for me personally to 
kind of like make the change, especially, and even today, like when I go to Bombay, you know, everybody, I mean, it's used interchangeably. People say Mumbai, people say Bombay, and it really doesn't make any difference. So I really hope there's no, you know, nobody really raises an issue because, because I didn't, didn't mean it to be controversial in any way. <laughs> so let's see.